Hey buddy, it's me in the air. So, if you watch my videos for a while now, you know that I love acrylic inks and I've been using them for a very long time. I used the uh, FW acrylic inks, artist inks, and I've used them for a while. I have a small collection of them and I love them. And besides the FW acrylic inks, I also use the Black Cat uh, black ink. It's a really good black ink. It's the best one I think out there. It's better than Hig Higgins ink. And I had the Higgins one too. But Black Cat India ink is the best as well. Usually when I use the acrylic inks, I use a paintbrush. But recently I've been curious about dip pens. Now dip pens are what people use calligraphy to use to write calligraphy and then beautiful handwriting that, that exist. Then you dip pens and ink to create those gorgeous Glowing, beautiful handwriting. Now, dip pens are not just used for clarity, they are used for drawing. You can draw in, using dip pens with the ink as now, well. I am not in skilled in calligraphy. I did not know the calligraphy. I I took a class doing calligraphy years ago when I was younger, and that was like a weekend class. So I'm not like skilled or any expert or can you any calligraphy at all. But I'm curious to see what I can do with a dip pen and some ink when it comes to drawing. So in this video, we're going to do a little unpackaging, not unboxing, because there was no box, technically no box here. But I'm going to do an unpacking of my first dip pen that I purchased recently. And we're going to try out the nibs and with some ink I have, with the ink I have, and see what happens. This is the first time doing this, my first dip pen, so this is all brand new the first time. I haven't even opened a package yet. It's ordered like three days ago. So this is all brand new. Okay, so let's so get started. This is the very first nip, dip, sorry, nip, not dip pen I purchased. First few few days ago at Michael's, also at Blick as well. This is the Speedball Sketching Dip Pen. It comes with six nibs. These are the nibs. And it comes with the pen, these are the holders, the pen holders. So you put the nibs in the holder as well. So we're gonna open this and see what's in it. And I also have my inks here. This is the Black India ink, the Black Cat Indian that I love. And these are all my FWs. I love them as well. So good color, so bright. This is the Higgins one. I don't like this that smell. I talked about this before in the video. I've used this a lot and I've used these a lot, but not a big fan of these. So. We're going to open this dip pen and see what I can do with it and see how each nib looks. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start opening this. Let's see here. Now when you open it, be careful because you don't want to lose the nibs. And that there's six nibs, you don't want to lose any of them. This is a really good deal. I think it was like $13. Actually, it was like 14 but I had a coupon. So I got for like 13, 12, 13. This is a pretty good deal as well. Okay, let's be careful here and not to lose any of the nibs. I'm going to put the nibs on the side here so I don't lose any of them. They're so tiny and fragile. See, this is what the nibs look like. See, that's one nib. Very okay, so this is the pen holder. Let's see what you put the nibs into the pen. So I watched some videos on it before, the research on it. So, but we're gonna see this is my first time using a nib dip pen. Why don't you say nib dip pen? Okay, so these are the holders. There's a black holder and there's a brown holder. The black holder is a little longer. They're, they're really light. It's like they kind of plastic but they're light. Okay, and it came with a little instruction book. That's good. Okay, so let's try the black one. This is the black nib holder. We're gonna take a nib. Let's take um uh, let's let's take this one. This nib. Now each nib's a different different reason if it's different like reason we're using them, I think. So we're gonna put the nib in the holder. Put the holder right, there's a circle right there, and the holder you put it inside. And it's just snug right in easily. Well, that's easy. See? That's how it works. Okay, so 
Let's take our ink. I'm going to use the Black Cat Indie Ink. I love this ink. When opening this ink, be careful because it is very liquidy and ink does stain, so be careful. So, I'm going to try to open this because I screwed this on really tight so it doesn't leak out. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, let's move these out the way first and move it forward. Okay, so when you dip the ink into, when you dip the dip pen into the ink, you don't want to get the whole pen because there's no ink in here. There's no ink in here. You want to dip the nib part of the pen in the ink. And the little split that's in the nib, as you can see it here right there, that is where the ink fill up. So you want to get the ink covering that ink, that little nib in there. So we're going to dip it in there. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to see what it looks like. We can do a little test here. Let's see. You may have to press a little hard while doing it. Oh, there we go. That's not bad. That's okay. That's not bad. So let's try again. This is my first time doing it, so be patient with me, please. My first time. Just slow them. Maybe if I if you press down on the ink. I'm trying to see. Oh, there we go. Okay. So if you use the ink, the nib on the other backs, the opposite way, where the flat side is facing down on the paper, you can get a line. See, ink pens are good for making different size lines, thin lines, uh, thick lines on one motion. And then you can fill it in. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like that. That's good. You see? Can you see that? Let me zoom in those so you can see. That's pretty good. Okay. So then you can do other lines as well. That's pretty good. Did a little, little cross hatch. That's pretty good. Let's see. Let's see if I can do a circle or something. It's really nice. It's, better, it's like better than a fine point pen. Than like a regular fine point pen. That's really nice. Okay. So when you clean the tips, water must they don't leave them dirty because they will get clogged and you don't want that as well so clean them after every one i don't have water here i need to get some water so these are really good so let me go get water i'll be right back okay i'm back got some water so i'm gonna dip it in the water like that and i have my rag here I'll clean it off let's see if i take it out and it I got the pen holder. Let's see. First time using it, remember, be with me, careful with me. Okay, got that nib out. You have to turn it to take it out. So we're gonna find the next nib. I'm gonna try a skinnier nib. This is the next one we're gonna try. It's a little more skinnier than the other one. So put it in, it's gonna fit here. Okay, this one has to be used for the smaller the spin hole. This is the brown one and older, it's a little smaller. So I think the smaller nib work with that one. So this one, this pen hole is different than a black one. That one has a filled hole, but this one doesn't. This one has an open hole. So I think nibs that have a, an open hole at the bottom like that just stick inside the pen holder. There we go. See? That's the brown one. That's the hell it fits. So try some, dip it in the ink, and we're going to see what it looks like. Oh, I like it. This is a little better. The smaller nibs are better. These are nice. Mm. Got a little press a little bit. Not too hard, but it works though. It really works. Oh, I like it. 
you gotta keep dipping the ink in the pen on the pen so you can get a good amount of ink on there so I think the more ink you put the darker your drawing is going to be lines are going to be so that's pretty good this is a good one okay clean off dry off okay and remove okay then we just pull out simple as that okay and the next one is i think this is the same size as the other one yeah this is the same size for the brown tip most of these nips here are for the brown the brown pen holder so i'm just testing out oh that was nice this one, the line is thicker. The line is the, the tip makes it much tip thicker. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That's thicker. That's much thicker. Can I write my name? I write my name. Remember, I don't click your face. doesn't write my name in print. I don't want to click I don't want to click it free. These are, this is not, I like the, this one. That's nice. I like that one a lot. Okay. So, so far, two out of three nibs are really good. Take those out. And let's try this one. It's a little bigger one. It's a little bigger nib. This belongs in the black pen holder. Slip it in. Okay. And then we're going to dip it in the ink. Let's see. Oh, this is big too. So I, I feel like the bigger the nib pen is, the thicker the line. This is thicker. See, these, these are much thicker. I like the thick lines. Those are nice. I really like those. Those are nice. See, you can get different line widths. This is really good. Okay. This is really easy. This is pretty easy. My first time doing this. This is, this is really good. Okay, I'm very impressed. Okay. Twist and take it out. There you go. And the last one fits in the brown pen holder. That's the nib. Skinnier. The brown pen holder nibs are skinnier than the black pen holder nibs. Yeah, you see. See, they're a little skinnier. The line just came here. Those are really good. I really like them. Okay, these are good tips. It's good nibs. Clean off. Now that we try the black in the ink, I'm gonna try what it looks like on the color ink. We're gonna try the FW inks. Cause these are great. Okay, we're gonna try my favorite color in FW, and that is the red one! I love this one. This is the Scarlet. It's like a bright orangey red. Love it. Now the, the FW inks have a squeeze bottle top, but we don't need that. So I'm just going to hold it because I want to put it down the table. So we're going to try the ink, the tip we just used was in the brow holder to see what it looks like. Dip it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little red on there. Let me see what it looks like. Ooh, I'm in love. This is so nice. Oh, I can do so many good things with this. I'm excited. I need to put my more inks now. I need to get more inks. This is really good. You see the cedar red? This is really, really good. 
This is good. Really, very good. I love it. I really like it a lot. Okay, so we're going to clean those off. Close that top. And clean a little more. Okay, so I'm really excited about these. These are really good. This is amazing. All these tips are really good. I really like them a lot. So I'm glad for it's my first time using these. I just want to test them out and show you what you show how they are and that I will be doing feature artwork with these nibs and this and these dip pens and ink. These are amazing. I love them. The work the nut of inks is even better. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I love dip pens now with ink. It's putting for the tips the I keep saying tips. I don't know why. The nibs are great. Pen holders are good. There, you know, you, there are some pen. There are some pen holders that are fancy and like wood and marble, and but those are the most expensive. I'm just starting out. These mine are not that expensive. This set was like thirteen dollars in Michaels I said before, so it's a good deal. And I'm happy where it came out. So I'll be doing our work with these pens in the near future. You will see that. So I'm glad this is a good purchase. If you, in, if you want to get into uh, dip pens, I recommend looking at I will link below the, uh, where I got this from and everything about everything about these kits from, from Speedball. It's really good. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!